Physics Honors Course Syllabus. The purpose of this course is to provide rigorous opportunities to study the concepts, theories, and laws governing the interaction of matter, energy, and forces and their applications through exploratory investigations and activities. The content includes unifying concepts and processes of science, energy, force, and motion, dynamics, wave characteristics, conservation of energy and momentum, electricity, magnetism, and interactions among science, technology, and society. This course includes laboratory in investigations which incorporate the use of measurement, problem solving, laboratory apparatus, safety procedures, and experimental procedures. This course also includes the use of mathematical processes, graphical representation, and data analysis. The textbook we're going to be using is HALT, and this is the best um, honors physics textbook. Everyone will get a copy of the textbook, but it's also going to be on Edline. We use Edline every single day in this class. So on Edline, you will see the assignments, the handouts. After we do and turn in the homework, the solution step by step to all of the homework, and many, many, many other resources. There'll be things having to do with scholarship, contests, and things like that. So you really need to check Edline every single day. You also need to make sure that your email is up to date and that on Edline you click to receive emails because I will be emailing you reminders and, very, and other important information. The topic sequence for how we're going to cover material in this class is we're going to go in order of the textbook. It makes it easier for you. And we're going to start with motion, one and two dimensional forces. So we're going to do mechanics the first semester, and we're going to do electricity and magnetism, and then modern physics the second semester. The grading policy for this course, first of all, as far as academic integrity, this ensures that all students have a fair and equal opportunity to succeed. Any behavior that provides an unfair advantage to one student is unacceptable and will not be tolerated. Each piece of work completed by a student must be solely a reflection of that student's own work or his or her contribution to a collaborative effort. We have homework every single day in this class, and it will be collected. Homework is due the beginning of the class period, and no late homework will be accepted. Homework must be neat and legible with your name, course, title, class period, date, and assignment on the top of the page. Most homework will be based on completion credit. If you were be able to do the homework every day, you wouldn't need me here to teach you. Homework has to be done a certain way, and I will go over, over and over again, the certain way where you have to write your given, what you want to find, write the basic equation, rearrange the equation to solve for the unknown in terms of the known, substitute in the variables, and solve. If you do not do the, your homework this way, you will not receive credit. And there's a reason, obviously, for doing the homework this way, because when you're not sure what to do and you do it this way, this is a systematic approach to solve problem solving, the problem pretty much solves itself. Homework's only 10% of our grade, but again, this is the way that we're going to do our homework, and we're going to turn it in in the black bin when you come in before the bell rings. Quizzes are based on the homework textbook and lectures. Qu there, we have different types of quizzes in this class. We have root word quizzes, which are very simple, and then we also have regular quizzes. We don't necessarily have a quiz on every chapter. So if you copy someone's homework, you're not going to do well on the quizzes. So again, homework's only 10%, but it's also a way for, for me to see, number one, if you're doing the homework yourself, or number two, if there's any misconceptions that anyone has in the class, I need to clarify them before the test because tests are weighted at 60% because this is an honors class. All right, let's flip over to the back. So laboratory experiments, labor these are written reports, and you can only use data from your group. You can't copy other people's. They're a collaborative effort, but your answer should be your own. So that means that no one, not even students in the same lab group, should have the same answers verbatim, word for word. If you miss a lab, labs are made up of four school or an alternative assignment is assigned. This year, I don't have a seventh period class, and... 
if you are going to be on campus, you can arrange with me. But most of the times, labs are going to be made up um, on a certain day in the morning, so all the people in the classes can come in at 7 o'clock a.m. and make up the lab on the same day in different periods. Sometimes there might be an alternative assignment. Sometimes I might give you the equipment to do at home. Don't, do not wait till the end of the marking period to say, oh, I never made up that lab on August 18th. Can I do it now? And it's October, because obviously it's going to be too late. A notebook, a notebook is required for this class. It really does not matter what type of notebook you choose. So if you want, you can have a spiral, you can have a loose leaf, you can have a loose leaf that you leave for different classes but it really doesn't matter what type of notebook you have, but you do need to have a notebook. Do not throw anything away. So in addition to any handouts, worksheets, everything you need to keep in your notebook, your labs, because all of that is going to be used for your tests and then also for your semester exam. Test, tests will be announced at least five days in advance. You are responsible for all lectures and class notes. Everything will be on Edline, material and readings assigned from the test and homework. If you are present when all the material is taught and absent, absent for the review, you still need to take the test on that required day. Any student caught cheating on a test will receive a zero, and this grade cannot be made up. Now, in this class, tests are a certain format. There's a multiple choice section. There's a free response section. The free response section has to be done a certain way, and there's a rubric to show you where you have to write your given, write what you want to find, show your work, etc. And you'll get used to that. Every test the entire year has the exact same format. Makeup work, when a student returns from being absent, we follow the school policy. It's your responsibility to obtain the work from Edline. If there's a handout, it's going to be in the back of the room, which I'll show you. If uh, if you don't want to fall behind, you can download because everything's going to be on the calendar on Edline. But it's your responsibility to make arrangements to make up a quiz or a test. And makeup work is to be completed and turned in within the time period based on the number of days allowed in the student handbook. And late work will not be accepted. The bottom line is do not expect to turn in all of your makeup work the last week of the marking period, even if you have an excused absence because we have to follow the rules. Again, labs are made up in the morning on certain days. So if I say, okay, the lab that we did this week, the makeup's going to be next Wednesday morning at 7 o'clock, don't show up at 7.20 and think you're just going to copy the data from other students. The latest you can be here is 7 o'clock to make up that material. Grade determination, this is an honor science class, so homework is 10%, labs are 15, quizzes are 15, and tests are 60. We follow the Palm Beach County grading scale, so 90 to 100 is an A, 80 to 89 is a B, 70 to 79 is a C, etc. All grades are used calculating grade quick. The grades are updated every other week on Friday, and that's when we will update the grades. If we have a test, a lot of times I'll stay and grade all the tests and put them on Edline because I know that you are very interested and want to know how you did on the test. Questions about grades should not be discussed during class time. If you would like to go over a test, come in the morning before school. If there is a question about a grade or a mistake on Edline, print a copy of your progress report and highlight the grading question. This, turn this in to me and show me the assignment question at the same time. This way the correction could be made not during teaching time. We don't want to disrupt what goes on in the classroom. The grades are on Edline. The students need to check them. Do not wait to the end of the marking period to question a grade. Students need to verify grades every two weeks when they're posted. What supplies do you need for this class? You need a USB flash drive because I am going to put solutions to everything on Edline. I am going to put all the notes. I am going to put the solutions to every homework assignment. I'm going to put the solutions to the reviews for the test. I'm going to put the solutions to everything, but I'm not going to keep the everything up there through the entire year because it would just be too much stuff to look through. So the day that we have the test, I take everything off of Edline because I start putting the materials for the next test. So what that means is if you are absent, you need to go on Edline and still download the materials. Again, don't wait till the day we have a test and you're absent when we take the test and you come back and say, 
oh, I never downloaded the notes from the prior chapter because I already have the new chapter's notes up, so that is your responsibility. So what else do you need for this class? You need a notebook. You need paper. You need graph paper. You need a pen, a pencil, a protractor, a highlighter, a ruler, a scientific calculator with trig functions. You will need this in class like the one that you got in middle school. You are not allowed to use a graphing calculator on a test or a quiz. We have a class set of calculators that we pass out that you will be using on every test and quiz in this class. Now, if you want to use your graphing calculator for your own homework, that's fine. But remember, you're not going to be using that calculator on every test and quiz. So you want to be familiar with this type of calculator because that's what we will be using on every quiz and test. And then you want to make sure that you keep this paper in your notebook all year long. Okay? So this is the course description for honors physics for this year.